God is good all the time and all the time God is, is excellent. excellent. Welcome to Nairobi East SDA evening worship. Leading in leading us in worship today will be the Pathfinders. On my left we have Riley Dai <coughs> and on my right Kizel Kinder. And my name is Maria Ayana. Behind me we have fellow Pathfinders. Uh, Kizel will be leading us in a word of prayer. Let's pray. Our kind and loving Father, we thank you for this day, thank you for the gift of life. Now as we are about to do our evening worship, please bless us, protect us, help us to understand what the speaker will be saying. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We'll be starting with song number 10. Come Christians, join to sing.
that he is able to give that which I've committed and to him against that day. I know God is good all the time. Our members, we welcome you to today's evening worship led by the Golden Eagles Pathfinder Club. We hope uh, you will be worshiping with us online and those who are with us physically, may God bless you. So today is a special week that we are planning to culminate the 73rd anniversary of the World Pathfinder Day. So God is good and he has given us this opportunity. The theme is go with Jesus. That is the theme of the 73rd anniversary and we are hoping that God will show us the way to go with Jesus as the Pathfinder. So welcome to Nairobi East. Feel warm because today the Pathfinders are the ones who are going to lead us and they are the ones who are going to minister unto us. We have a very special speaker among us. He is 11 years of age in grade 5 in friend class. That is the first class in the Pathfinder ministry. And as you can see, we are nurturing them when they are still young. So I want to welcome Frank Keanche, who is going to speak with us. May God use him mightily as he's going to minister his word this wonderful evening. So Frank, come closer and share with the people of God. May God bless you. Thank you, Teacher George and Derry. And yeah, before I before I start before I start the sermon for today, let us pray. Everlasting Father, King of Kings and Lord of Lords, we come before you this moment and we ask you for forgiveness. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of our parents, the gift of this wonderful day you've given us. We also we also thank you for this one. We also thank you for this wonderful sermon that you enabled me to prepare throughout the week. Help me to understand what I'm going to be preaching before my fellow brethren, and also help them to understand and put it into practice in their daily lives. In Jesus' name, do pray and believe. Amen. Now, today I will be talking about a topic that very sensitive topic that is about a movement that's emerging throughout the world. This is the LGBTQ movement. You may, you may, sorry, you may be wondering what this movement is. Now, the, this, name, this name LGBTQ is an, actually an acronym which stands for lesbianism, gayism, bisexual, transgender, and queer. Now you may be wondering what an acronym is. An acronym is a word used to explain, used to stand for different words. Like for example, PUSH, which stands for pray until something happens, amen? amen. Now, let us start the dive into this topic. This LGBTQ movement was founded in the year 2020, which at that time was called the Pride 2020 Conversation where individuals who would uh, 
individuals who would who would indulge in some acts would come together and uh, express themselves in what they call comfortable now some this this as i said earlier this movement is a worldwide movement that's aiming to be a community now some kenyan lgbt lgbtq personalities include makenan jerry who was who is a former actor who acted in tidy high and now calls herself chris murathy we also have the late edwin chiloba who died in the year 2022 now even within the church we have some churches and some personalities who are part of this movement now two examples of the of the personalities who are part of this movement are pastor alicia johnston who is part of the north american division and also pastor sasa gunjevic who is part of the eastern polish division in poland now you may be wondering what does the bible have to say about this movement and such and such actions for yes a sermon cannot go on without bible reading now let us open our bibles and flip to the book of romans chapter 1 verse 26 to 27 yes now and it says because of this god gave them over to shameful lusts even their women exchanged natural sexual relations for unnatural ones verse 27 in the same way the the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were inflamed with lust for one another men committed shameful acts with other men and received themselves the due penalty for this error let's also go to let's also go to the book of leviticus chapter chapter 18 verse 22 yes verse 22 and it says do not have sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman that is an abomination in the same same book leviticus chapter 20 verse 13 now it tells us that if a man has sexual relations with a man as one does with a woman both of them has done what is an abomination they are to be put to death and their blood will be on their own heads let's also go to the book let's go back to the book of romans chapter 1 verses 30 verse 32 so yes here it is and it says although they knew although they knew god's righteous decree that those who only do such things deserve death they only not they not only continue to do these very things but also approve and support those who practice them let's also go to 1 corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 to 10 and it says or do you not know that wrong doers will not inherit the kingdom of god do not be deceived neither sexual sexually immortal no idolaters no adulterers no men who have sex with men verse 10 no thieves no the greedy no drunkards no slanders no swindlers will inherit the kingdom of god amen, amen. so you may be wondering if this movement was founded in the year 2020 How come the Bible which was written which sta- which was written thousands of years ago know about this Number 1 The Bible is a prophet is a prophet in itself It it foretells some of the things that are happening today just like in the book of Revelation and Daniel Number 2 During the days of during the days of Lot in uh, Sodom and Gomorrah and also in the days of Noah the citizens the citizens of those uh, the citizens the inhabitants of the wa- of the earth at that time were doing the same same actions as we are told in the book of ecclesiastes that there is nothing new under the sun 
history always repeats itself. For during that time, during that time when uh, Lot was visited by two mysterious visitors, the other citizens of the the other citizens of Sodom and Gomorrah came pounding on his window saying, "Unleash, uh, let to us the, the, your visitors, so that we may know them carnally." But Lot, but Lot did not, for he was a man of God. Amen. So. We are not condemning the, our, our brethren that are confused and are lost within these sins. We condemn the sins that they do. And we pray that once and we pray that they may, they, God may help them overcome such sins. For who is born of God shall overcome the world and its sins. Amen? Amen. And that is, yes, and that is the end of my sermon. I hope you have learned something today. Yes. Hope you have learned something new today. And I pray that you may put this into practice in our daily lives. And this timely message to reach to all before Amen. time ends. Our next song will be song number 530, It Is Well With My Soul. Oh, oh, oh. 
Amen. As we celebrate the 73rd anniversary of the Pathfinder Club, uh, our motto, our theme this year is Pathfinders go, go with, with Jesus. Jesus. Pathfinders go, go with, with Jesus. Jesus. Pathfinders go, go with Jesus. Pathfinders go with Jesus. Let's pray. Everlasting Father, King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, we come to this moment asking you for forgiveness. We thank you for the gift of life, the gift of our parents, the gift of this wonderful day you've given us, and also enabling me to, and also enabling me to spread the gospel today. Help, help me to put this into practice with my fellow brethren in our daily lives, and also help this timely message reach to all before you come again so that we all may be saved and we will and we will all rejoice in that holy jubilee in Jesus name we do pray and believe amen amen yeah that was it that was our worship this evening we thank you for being with us worshiping with us we are asking you to be with us on sabbath as we climax go with us the pathfinder world pathfinder day so this evening, I'm asking God to be with you, to bless you, and to go with you. Be blessed, all of us. Amen.